everyone, Mariah here, and in today's video, we're going over the price of Bitcoin, where I see it headed, and if I have put in any buy or sell orders lately. Before we get into it, we had a nice little announcement today from BlockFi. Thanks to everyone who has used my link to sign up with BlockFi. I am number 18 on the list when it comes to the credit card out of over 300,000 people. So I had mentioned in one of my previous videos that I was initially not aware that the BlockFi credit card had a $200 annual fee. And I uh, was I came across that information by watching Graham Stephan's video about the BlockFi credit card review. And so after I realized that, I was a bit disappointed thinking that the credit card really wasn't as advantageous as I had, as I had originally uh, thought. Well, today BlockFi announces we're about to release people off the wait list, but we heard your feedback and we added some new perks to the BlockFi Bitcoin rewards credit card. First, you got 1.5% back in Bitcoin on every purchase, earn crypto interest on your 1.5% uh, back. Now you get no annual fee, no foreign transaction fees. That's really exciting. 3.5% back in Bitcoin on all purchases in your first three months up to $100. 2% back in Bitcoin on every dollar over $50,000 annual spend. See if you're approved with no impact on your credit. So if you want to check out the BlockFi credit card and put yourself on the wait list, go ahead and check out my link down below. But that's huge. Going from a $200 annual fee down to zero, it's actually really cool that they listened to the community's feedback and made that change. So that's really exciting news there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the price of Bitcoin. It's 1.08 p.m. here and uh, Eastern time on Tuesday, May 25th. Bitcoin is just over $38,000. Um, so how I, what I've been saying over the past few videos that I'm anticipating Bitcoin to make a lower high and like, you know, it's going to change. It's going to vary every day, but somewhere between like probably 45 and 52, 53. But time is going to matter in this spe uh, specific situation. Can't talk today. So what we're looking at here is this 50 DMA. As you can see here, this 50 DMA is declining. So I'm anticipating, mm, I would say probably about the first week of June that Bitcoin is going to meet and find <clears throat> resistance at the 50 DMA. So I think the 50 DMA is going to continue to decline. And I think somewhere here, like the first three or four days of June, we're going to see Bitcoin find resistance there at about the $48,000 range. So I personally, personally, am going to be offloading some Bitcoin. I think there's a high probability that we trade sideways for the entire summer, ultimately, and we don't see a new all time high until the fall. So I'm preparing for that scenario. Also taking into consideration the fact that I have loans. So um, let's take a look at Ethereum, which is going to be actually I take that back. Let's go back to Bitcoin and look at smaller time frames. The 12 hour chart, let's see here. This green two almost went above the green one, but it didn't. It got rejected by that DMA right there. So we haven't seen a trend change on the 12 hour. The four hour gave us some hope, making a higher high, which is good news. So um, I think that in the next, you know, two weeks, we are not going below the previous lows of 30,000. That's just my personal opinion. I think what I'm looking for is a lower high on the daily to happen sometime. I would say like within the first seven to 10 days of June. Okay. And I anticipate it to meet resistance at resistance at the 50 DMA. Okay. So I'm anticipating that to happen at about here. The four hour is giving us really good signs here as it made a higher high. And basically we just want it to hold a uh, 31 one to make a higher low and then more continuation to the upside. As you can see here, we're finding a little bit of resistance at this DMA on the four hour chart. Let's take a look on the one hour chart here. Bitcoin was uh, trending upwards and then uh, at about, we saw a top here at, um, yesterday around four o'clock and then it started trading uh trending downward so let's see here if we can make a higher high we'd want bitcoin to, bitcoin to go uh to about 39.3 let's take a look at the 30 minute chart here on bitcoin trending downwards um not looking all that great but 
to me, this four hour chart is uh, looking good and um, going to, I think, make a higher high here at about, you know, like 41, 42, pull back a little bit and then continue upward um, in this range. And this is where I'm looking to sell. I'm looking to sell the first week of June at about the $48,000 range. That is what I am personally am anticipating. But you know what, I have this grand plan, doesn't mean it's gonna play out completely. Let's go and take a look here at the five minute chart of Bitcoin, trading a little bit sideways here, as um, didn't necessarily make a lower low, but just this price action here isn't giving me a ton of clarity yet. Uh, if Bitcoin was to go above 38.5, then I would, it would probably be a good time to enter position um, as it continues to the upside. So let's take a look here at Ethereum, which is really interesting. I keep on talking about the 50 DMA on Bitcoin and how I'm anticipating it, uh, Bitcoin to find resistance in that range. Okay, well, what do we see here on the daily chart? We saw Ethereum hit a uh, high today of, um, let's see here, a high of 27.68 and it was resisted by this 50 DMA. So I'm anticipating the same thing to happen with Bitcoin. Let me go ahead and show you exactly what I did today. Um, I basically sold off just 0 0.04 of a Bitcoin at 37.9. Um, and that was from, basically, there was this right here. Uh, I had I bought here uh, 0.05 at 33,780 two days ago, and I sold off you know the majority of it at a profit. So I was just kind of unloading a little bit. I'm slowly, slowly, slowly taking profits. Let's take a look here at Ethereum. Over the last 14 hours, I have sold off a little bit of Ethereum here at 26.05. I sold off uh, about two Ethereum at 26.05. And we're sitting right about at that same price point right now. I had an opportunity to jump back in, but you know, I for me, the timing isn't right. I'm staying as patient as possible. So when I talk about selling Bitcoin at about the you know $48,000 range, I do think um, that it can go lower after that. I don't think it's going to go significantly lower. I just don't want to be sitting on you know, as much Bitcoin as I have now and Ethereum throughout the summer as I believe it's going to trade sideways. What I'm going to be doing is rolling that over into interest bearing accounts um, that are earning about 10% USDC. So as I'm earning interest, I'll be looking for opportunities to jump back in, but not until like the end of the summer. So timing is a really important factor here. In my opinion, that's like one of the things that I consider when I trade. But across the board, uh, the crypto market is down today. So Nexo at 195. Um, many of the coins are down between, you know, three and seven percent or so. So not much volatility today in the market. I'm staying patient, just waiting for my plan to kind of continue uh, or play out over the next two weeks or so. So I want to know what your game plan is. That is all I have for you today. Please hit that subscribe button hit the like and the bell for notifications. As always, go out there and create a portfolio that you love.